Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 6 of my Timberborn series. Now, if you notice, this is starting off a little bit different. So, I took a bit of a break from playing Timberborn and, and a lot of the other games on my channel. And they've actually released a huge uh, Timberborn update to the game. Um, which, it puts me in a bit of a dilemma. So, I'll explain it. Basically, they've released a huge, huge update. Now, as you can see in the forefront, um, the biggest update are new golems. Now, one thing that I'm really excited about is I don't know if this is true, and this is what I hope. I'm burping a little bit, sorry. Um, I hope the golems can work at night because that's one thing that um, there's a bit of downtime typically when the, the beavers are asleep is that, you know, nothing actually happens. So they've released this massive update um and and it's got a lot of lot of extra co content or additional content you could say so obviously we've got got new golems so basically they're just little robot servants which i think will be really cool to watch and, and, and see what happens it doesn't look like it's exclusive to a particular faction so i'm really hope to actually explore this a little bit um we also got some terraforming um a lot of d a different um uh, well-being um improvements um, which, you know, there's so much, I mean, obviously this update is on Steam, um, so I'll try, I'll put a link below, but, um, a lot of, lot of really cool updates that I really want to explore and play around with. And I, instead of me going through every single little bit, cause I'm not a Timberborn, um, streamer or, or Let's Player, you know, and not a lot of people watch this, so I won't go through every single little bit. Um, but let's say, say the big one is, um, the golems that I really want to play with. Now, the problem with that is when I load up my game, that happens. I'll switch back to here. Uh, actually, I'll make sure this is, is this in the right frame? Yeah, I think it's in the right frame. I shall get rid of, get rid of my display capture. There we go. <laughs> that worked. Um, so it comes up with that. So it means it's not compatible. So instead of me risking it and see whether it actually carries the new features on, um, I think I actually will restart this particular play. And this time don't put the tutorial on because we don't need the tutorial this time. So if you do want to see the kind of the tutorial, previous ones will start off completely fresh and I'll play on the map that I'm kind of used to playing on. So we'll exit out of that and we'll start a brand new game. Um, and we'll do Foxtails. We'll probably eventually do Iron Teeth once we get to the official unlock um, one. So we'll probably restart it, but this is how I'll do it. And we'll probably go with Lakes. Lakes is typically the one I go for. I still don't know what the best map is, but we'll go for that. We'll go normal and we'll start. There we go. So this will take a little bit to load. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why I'm starting brand new fresh. Um, hopefully I don't take breaks again and that causes another update. But as you can see there, um, they don't release major updates like that all the time. Um, just once in a while. And it's actually one of the reasons why I'm getting back into this Let's Play. Because I saw um, the updates um, get posted and I got, whoop, whoop there you go. Uh, I got really excited um, about them um, and it's crashing. The game is crashing. All right, we're going to pause right here. Oh, wait. No, no. Let's come around. <laughs> I don't know if that actually picked up on... Uh, there we go. It didn't crash. Odd. Anyway. So we're going to call this... Well, we called last one Dave's Woods. We'll call it Dave's... Uh, <laughs> Woods. Dave's Big Woods. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to... I want to turn off the tutorial, so I have to remember how to do that now. Um, doo -doo -doo, disable tutorial, there we go. So we'll disable the tutorial this time, and we'll get like right into it. <clears throat> if I remember how to play this game, because it's been a little bit. Um, so, first of all, we want to get our roads up. Um, we need water. We want water there? Yeah, we'll put water there. So we'll get the, the basics. Um, and then we'll get some woodcutters. Get some woodcutters like up here. Up there. And then we'll get, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we'll get a storage. Where do we want to put the storage? Put the storage like right here. 
Cool. And normally what I try and do is I kind of mark off that all that will be um, basically my um, my wood growing area. So that will be the kind of the first priority we want to get back into. Because basically I need to get back to where I was and then start exploring this this golem. Golem? Golem? Um, ooh, golem uh, little feature about building them because I really want to get into that. So we'll, we'll get them going. Um, and we'll have that now. Let's mark that up. So we've got, actually we've got no... We've got homeless, so we've got the water, and we'll build a couple of those there, um, and we'll start our food gathering section. So how would I do on this map? And remember, I'm not good at games, so I mean, I'm just playing it the way I do it, so if it's wrong, let me know. Um, but I kind of make this section, oh, I can't unlock that yet, I kind of make this section a blueberry kind of um, field that I just harvest. And I'm going to move my keyboard down so this typing's not um, getting captured. Alright, so... What am I doing? Um, oh no, that's right. The gatherer will do it automatically. And we'll reduce that by one and get a gatherer going there. Got the wood gathering there. And... Cool. And we've got this another wood gathering place down here. So we'll probably utilize that eventually. All right, now let's get our science up, because um, what we want to do is unlock our forester as early as we can, so we can start getting a more renewable wood source. Because I tend to run out of wood pretty quickly, because I am a ha I've got a habit of building things with limited restraint, you could say. All right, but what we do need um, in order to build a forester. Or is it Forester? We will need planks. So we will need uh, power. Now, I always go windmill. Oh, sorry, watermill. But one thing new as well, they've got windmills. Which is new. Which I tend to eventually build now. But what a mistake I think I always make is I always go water wheel. When I probably should go power wheel initially. So one that can get it up uh, operational quicker. And it uses less wood. So I probably will do that initially. So I want to get lumber mill. And we probably want it close to here so we'll build some some turbines eventually anyway. And then we'll build the windmills up here. We'll build the windows like here. I don't know if it can get much wind, but... We'll probably build it there. And then power build it there and then there, there there we go and that should be like our basic so we can get our forester up and we'll probably build the forester like here or somewhere here um yeah oh well, i need to probably reduce that to get that we need to start getting our water up um Hmm, we need housing, don't we? Uh, where should we put a housing? I like to put a housing on non-fertile land. So, um, but I do like it structured. So we can put the housing here because that's nice and orderly. There we go, nice and orderly. So, but now we're going to utilize the priority system a bit better. Um, so first of all, we need to get that up. And make sure you click construction site instead of workplace. I tend to, tend to do that quite a lot. Um, and we'll probably want to get one of those up too. And then one of those. So those will be our priority kind of tasks. Alright. Now I don't like doing this, but we'll speed this up a little bit. Pet peeves is... Oh! Did it freeze? Oh no, they're all asleep. There we go. And sunny. There we go. We'll get them going again. And we'll probably need storage. So we'll probably get build a couple of small warehouses. Which I eventually will dismantle and make bigger. That's how I normally do it. 
say it like I'm an expert. I'm not an expert. This is probably all the wrong decision. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to keep them busy. And what I'll do down here... Is... We'll build this as safety. If we run out of wood. Um... Did I build that the wrong way? Oh no, I got I mean, build that there. Um, but I'll disable that once that's built. And we'll cut down all these trees. Now this birch only gives you one wood. And these trees up here, they give you two wood. Um, cool. And so we'll probably decrease that a bit. We've only got one builder and I don't think it's too necessary. We've got four children over here. You notice... Leave a child. Um, and we haven't got any shelter, so we'll probably want to get shelter. So that's built now. What should be the next priority? I think storage of water should be the next one, so we'll get that up. Alright. So we're, go we're going good with the berries. This would be a good kind of. Actually, we'll build. Build another gatherer. There we go. But I'll probably disable that when it's built. Now, I'm enter entering the territory of, you know, what I said before, building too much. But I want to get a fallers post. I don't like wasting land, if you know it's like... Mm. Mm. I'll put that there. And I probably need to get my farming up too, so... We'll put farms. I normally put two farms there. And then build. There. And then I'll make all of these carrots. And then another gather up here. Good guy. And then I make this more farming land as well. So this will be a priority too. Switch that on. Wait. All right. How are we looking? How are we looking? So that's nearly done. So we want to start storing some of our water instead of it all being in there. Hmm. We've got a lot of lumber. Well, not a lot, but enough for now. So I'll switch that up. It says we've got one person with no work. Do we? Oh, yeah, we did. Huh. Oh, yeah, because four. Uh, it's now three. Cool. Alright, got the water up. Um, what should be the next priority? Our science is slowly ticking away. Um, probably lodge. Go for the lodge next. Oh yeah, grown up. That that dude grew up. Gamji. So, based on how, so we've got eleven. They can fit three in each one, so we will need one. Um, hmm. I don't like it orderly, Dave. Orderly. All right, we'll go like that. I'm probably going to build more housing as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Drive my OCD crazy if I, do, if I muck that one up. Wait, did I muck it up? Let's test it. I did muck it up. Oh, it's only two. That's why I mucked it up. It's only two. And two. Alright. One, two, one, two, and then that. There we go. And I'll destroy. Okay. Right there. Cool. The still don't pause the, um, when you go into the menus. It pause, uh, still don't fix, I should say. When you go into the menus, it pauses everything. I don't like that. Alright, we'll probably need another water. 
encroach on there. There we go. We've got that up and running. The, notice it's a ne you can get negative well-being now. I like that. But that would be stemming really from not having enough um, accommodation really, yeah. Shelter. The shelter takes a big hit. Look at that, negative three. So you want to get that up a bit. Alright. Let's see, look at how all the wood can chop down really quickly. It's not a deal. It's not ideal at all. Hmm. Well, I think we'll pause that and chuck another worker. We'll speed this up a bit, because night time. Look at them, look like little ants. Hmm. All right, a lot of a lot of homeless beavers at the moment. All right, there we go. So I should really make one of the priority. I can't decide which one. I'll probably get the farming. That's twenty-five, and that's. I think we we'll get lodger first. I think that has has the most benefit. Because I mean, if they're if they're feeling good, they typically now get a few benefits such as here. So you get movement speed gets better, um, they live longer, they work harder. So you kind of want them to be good. So it should, should kind of kind of gives an extra benefit of why we, well-being is actually important, just to really boost those stats. I don't know I probably had that in the last update. I just I just didn't didn't remember. Um, so we need sixty. So we've got 11 at the moment. And 60. Alright. The drought's not coming, but I'm, I've got a feeling we're not going to get our carrots up in time. But... Quite, a lot, quite a lot of food for the people we have. And to be honest, we'll probably want another one. Another um, lodge, just so we can get more. More beavers, uh, more workers. Alright, that's up and running. Um, I think... I think we'll leave the farm to the side until we get these up. And I think I'll move that to a higher priority. The water situation doesn't look great, does it? Hmm... Hmm. I'm not too excited about how this game's going right now. But like we've got a lot of things to do and just not enough resources to do it. So we've got eight, so we've got three builders. Really chopping away at that. How long are these kids are gonna take? Oh, I got a kid near yeah, adulthood. That's all right. What can this? Oh yeah, it reaches that. Yeah. So we have to think of other oh, 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 oh. keyboards decided to muck up a little bit. Oh. Whoa. Keyboard decided to have a bit of a freak out. What I noticed about the moment wireless, because I've got a wireless keyboard here. The wireless headphones and wireless keyboard they don't seem to like each other, because every time I use both of them, the keyboard starts to, to freak out a little bit. Alright, so we've got, we've got 3R. That captures most of it. What should be the priority now? I think all right. We'll, we'll get though. We we'll get these two props up. That's funny though. It's a lot. It's a lot of wood, but we kind of need it to start having a renewable kind of source of wood. 
and we'll probably want to reduce that by one. Increase that. Move that. That one can stay as like neutral. So that's like 55 wood for that. A lot. No way to speed anything up. Probably want a campfire there, eh? Just right outside. There we go. And just and I probably built some little shrines. I eventually. So I've got some shrines. So that's the new one, the shower. That's really good. So you build it by water. It kind of works like a pump. And they just kind of go on it. Um, I mean, I might put shrines. I could put shrines. I'm actually fearing our food situation a little bit. I mean, technically, what you could do, and this has saved me a few times, is kind of build a path here, and then you can build, and gather it there, and they kind of gather those barriers from up there. But you kind of want this to be up and running. I think I might actually get that up and running next. I think it's too much of a risk of me leaving. Leaving it too soon. Not too late. Too soon. What are you on about, Dave? See, I mean, it, it looks cool. If I had everything built. It is... Early game is always tricky. It's always the trickiest bit. Alright, we'll speed it up. It's just, there's nothing cool to watch them do, because I've got no entertainment for them whatsoever. So we'll get, we'll get them to hurry up and go to bed. Okay, in bed. Oh, a kid grow up. Where do we want to put them? Oh yeah, beavers are happy than ever. Level 3, that's good. That should give us some benefits, right? Yeah, we're starting to see, starting to see it creep on. They're moving faster and so forth. Now, beavers can now get injured. That's another one that has caught me out a couple of times since the update. Um, so if we go to... Do, 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 I think it's... There's a well-being one. Yeah, that one. So you can build medical beds. And that helps them recover better if they're sick. And that has helped me a couple of times. So we're going to have to go down that route. Work. Work by minions. Go. Alright, so next... Uh, probably the next priority is farm. Farmhouse. Might have been, I might be out of time for the first drought, but... That needs to be done. Oh, lax workers. Um, I think that's rather important to, to get going is the water pump. Oh, whoops. Whoops. You, this should be the priority. See, that's what I did. I click workplace instead of construction site again. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just... I just always click the wrong one. And so if you... Uh, if we look at... Is it science? So here it is. The golem assembler and stuff. A lot, it needs a lot of parts. You notice that it needs a lot of parts. So it'll be really, I haven't worked it out I'm on my own, my own playthroughs. So I havenven't got up to that point yet. So I'm very interested to see, interested to see how that works. So, it, so it's five planks, one looks like iron and then one battery or one, one of those, I'm guessing bio, bio tanks, fuel. And then that gives you a part. I might have to go on YouTube to figure out this. <laughs> oh no, those, those build the parts, so it builds like the arms, the chassis, and the head, and then that assembles it. Next, 36, so it takes three days to do. Oh, okay. So once, once the, once the golem is assembled, does it just 
operate? How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to find out. It needs to be a mystery that needs to be solved. But until then, I'll build the little farmhouse over here. I'm oh, running out of wood, damn it. Alright, well. Get, we'll get this up to be a priority because I'm going to need them soon. And we'll just chuck one farmer on there to do these carrots. Mm. Still got some time before before I can unlock Forester. Still need need wood. Need mm. Mm, I need planks. I still need planks to be up and running first. So much on my on my to do list. Oh. oh, there's three more needed there. Oh, keyboard's not behaving itself. So I'm pushing up right now. So if I let this go, that's good. There you go. Keyboard's weird. <laughs> all right, that's all gone. All right, so let's oh, shut these down. Shut these down for a little bit. All right, we've got the farmhouse up. Actually, you, you reduce it by one. Because hopefully you'll go here. Yeah, you will. Oh, I have to tell it to cut those trees. Get to work. All right, well, next priority will have to be lumber mill. And then it'll be the power wheel. And at least I can get the forester up. So normally what I do is I build one forester here and then one here so I can plant more blueberries and also plant up here. So I can't do anything until I unlock it. I'll switch that to harvesting as the priority. So at least we've got some water that should be enough to get us through. A lot more efficient. And we don't have a lot of wood though. Oh, some trees are back. So actually we'll start that up again and just that by one. It's not that good having a lot of workers being the builders, because these are the builders basically, but Considering I've only got really one, one priority and barely any wood, kind of, I'm okay with that. I probably could shut down one of these for a little bit and then chuck one over there. There you go. All right, let's move over this bit because again, not that interesting if they've got nothing to do. It'd be interesting, better if they have like campfires and we can watch them just be like, be you know, leisurely just mucking around, but just quickly get past this bit. Alright, back to it. I know I said my playthrough before, I kind of like them. But I play this game too much now. <laughs> I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> There's the speed along. I'm going to take a drink of my big old jug of water. Alright, got my carrots going. I might have got some of them in early enough, but I guess we'll find out the hard way. Alright, we've got that up and running, so now it's the power wheel. Um, oh, let's put number balls right now, it's not really going to do anything. So if I time this right... I might be able to get the this up and running, and hopefully some planks done, so we can build the forester.
I don't know how lucky we'll get though. Two out of forty. Forty logs. God damn it. I think that's the worst. I mean, if you look at all the power stuff, I mean, that's fifty in the water. I mean, the, the I mean, ultimately the benefit between the two is the power wheel essentially cost a worker. You have to sacrifice a worker for power, and water wheel doesn't sacrifice a worker, and it gives you more power depending on the stream. I mean, the power wheel can go all the time, and it doesn't matter if you're in drought or not. So. But I don't like relying on it. It's it's a it's a it's a very expensive thing to build, and it only works essentially. There's the, the several days that it just doesn't work, so it's I don't like it's not that reliable, especially if you you build a bit too late. Um, what are you doing? Body. Oh yeah, I've got a spare worker. You're chilling out, not doing anything. Um, what sh work should we give you? Uh. Let's, let's make you another worker, right? At least that way we'll, we'll move this wood as quickly as we can. I think they can carry more as well now. Um, yeah, carries two logs. I mean, before it was only one. So I think they can carry more. Oh, whoops. Does that say they can carry more? Doesn't. Oh, sorry. All right. I think we actually will leave it there. So what you heard was my my timer because my I only had the timer of a watch. Uh, kind of kind of ruined that spoiler that I did there because. I have a habit of playing games too long, so I always try and time myself for certain ones. But thanks all for watching the the new update two version of Timberborn. It's a little bit of a meh start, um, but it's a different start than we, what we had before when we were going through the tutorial. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. But we will be going, and hopefully we'll get to a point where the golems and I kind of understand them a bit better. But I guess we'll we'll discover that together. So thanks for watching. Like subscribe all now. No, not even bother anymore. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching and until next time.